Okay, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at multiplying and dividing by negative numbers. This actually leads on from our last video where we were adding and subtracting negative numbers. So if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the description and a card in the top corner. So one of the key things that we need to remember, which is shown by the diagram on the right, is that if we multiply numbers of the same sign together, then we're going to end up with a positive result. So a positive multiplied or divided by another positive would give us a positive, and also a negative by a negative would also give us a positive. However, if the signs in front of the numbers are different, so whether I multiply or divide a positive by a negative, or the other way around, a negative then by a positive, that would give me a negative result. So these questions here just show how all those different variations could occur. So for this first example, I have 3 times 2. So I've got a positive multiplied by a positive. That's going to give me a positive. So then we just do the numbers 3 times 2, which is 6. For our next one, we've now got negative 3 multiplied by negative 2. So if we look at our diagram again, we've got a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's going to give us a positive number. We then look at the individual numbers we have, 3 times 2, which is 6. So this would actually be positive 6. For the next one, we have a positive times a negative. So because the signs are different, this is going to give us a negative result this time. And then again, 3 times 2 is 6. So this would actually be negative 6. And again, we've got the same thing, but just with a negative on the other side this time. We've got a negative times a positive this time. So that's going to be a negative again. And the numbers again are going to give us 6. So the key takeaway here is if the signs are the same, we would end up with a positive result. And if the signs are different, we'd have a negative result. Similarly for this column on the right, we've got 10 divided by 2, so a positive divided by a positive. Signs are the same, so it's going to be a positive number, so then 10 divided by 2 is 5. Moving down, we've got a negative divided by a negative. Again, signs are the same, so it's going to give us a positive result. And again, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Moving down, we've got 10 divided by negative 2, so this time we've got a positive divided by a negative. Because the signs are different, we're going to end up with a negative result. And again, 10 divided by 2 is again 5, so that won't actually be negative 5. And then finally, we have a negative divided by a positive. So again, because the signs are different, we're going to end up with a negative result. And then the numbers 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that again would be negative 5. Well, I hope that made sense and this diagram is of some use. We've now got a final few questions just to have a go at. So feel free to pause the video here and we'll go through the answers in just a few seconds. So for this first example, I've got 4 multiplied by negative 4. So a positive times a negative. Signs are different, so I know I'm going to have a negative result. So then all I have to do is do the numbers. 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 times negative 4 is actually negative 16. For this next one, we've got negative 36 divided by 4. So again, a negative divided by a positive. The signs are different, so overall we're going to have a negative result. And then we just do 36 divided by 4, which is 9. So the answer to that would actually be negative 9. For this next one, we have negative 12 divided by negative 2. So I've got a negative divided by a negative. Signs are the same, so I'm going to end up with a positive result. Then just looking at the numbers, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So negative 12 divided by negative 2 is actually positive 6. OK, for this last one, we've got negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 again. So I'm just going to do this first bit to begin with. I'm just going to do negative 3 multiplied by negative 2. So I know a negative times a negative is a positive. And then the numbers 3 times 2 is 6. So that little bit simplified would just be 6. Then I have to multiply that by the remaining negative 2. So now we've got 6 times negative 2. So I've got a positive times a negative. Signs are different, so that's going to give me a negative overall. And then in terms of the numbers, we've got 6 times 2, uh, two is 12. So for our final answer to negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 2, that would be negative 12. So hopefully that's been of some use and should help us going forward when we have to deal with negative numbers. So that's it for today's video. If you did find it useful at all, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are any specific topics at all you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments. And I'll try to make videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.